Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, today we just play around with the lens here. So first we use a rectangular shape lens. Okay, rectangular shape lens. So if is if the light rays strike perpendicular to this plane, okay, it will not reflect it. It's just pass through. Meaning this if this is 90 degree, it just pass through straight. So if we strike at that angle. It will start to reflect it there. Okay, so that one next similar to this one. This is con convex lens or converging lens. So if it pass through the optical center directly at the optical center and the principal axis, so it's just pass to straight. Uh, but if you add an angle, it try it start to reflect it here because it's the light is struck at an angle it is not 90 degree refracted and then again from more dense medium to less than medium it refracted again so we can see it much clearer if, if we use uh, three three ray of light okay so the light rays will converge at one point this is principal focus the distance between principal focus and the principal axis to the optical center is the focal length okay so the light is converge at one point so if we use concave lens concave lens the light is diverge spread out so we can see clear if we switch off the light so it's diverge okay it's spread out but if you extrapolate the line if you draw it okay trace it you draw it extrapolate the line here it will also meet at one point this is its principal focus at the principal axis again the distance between this point to the optical center is the focal length okay then how about circular shape okay again if we strike at 90 degree if we strike at 90 degree it just pass straight through without being refracted if it's at angle, at an angle, it is refracted. Okay, it's the same. It's the same. If the light uh, pass at phone through at ninety degree from the plane, it will not be refracted. Okay. Now the total internal reflection. So if if you can see the light there, the light is not pass through this this area it is reflected back to the to the prism there okay so this is total internal reflection okay without being reflected 100% the light is reflected back to the object okay this must has two condition number one the light ray must pass from let more dense medium to less than medium and the the angle it must be greater than the critical angle okay so we can see much clearer if we switch off the light sorry sorry let's switch on okay so as you can see here the light is reflected not reflected reflected uh, is similar to mirror reflected here and again is reflected here okay so now the last one is the prism triangular prism so as you can see there the light is experience total internal reflection the light does not pass through here okay does not pass through here it is totally internal reflection here all the light is reflected to here again total internal reflection all the light is reflected out from the glass out from the lens okay this one where is the next one okay this is the last one okay this is 90 degree so it's just passed too straight without being refracted how to find the 
critical angle of the glass okay wait 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 okay that's total internal reflection more than the critical angle it's very difficult if you do it accurately I think that's the angle okay you, you just add maybe one degree or two degree from this one okay to get the critical angle if it's more than critical angle all the light ray is being reflected this is total internal reflection okay total internal reflection without the light being reflected here so if less than critical angle the light is refracted out from the glass okay again as you can see if you increase the angle of incident which is more than critical angle the light will occurs the experience total internal reflection less than critical angle reflected more than critical angle total internal reflection Okay, that's it.